What's going on, everybody? My name is Tuck. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. Hope you guys are staying happy and hydrated. Welcome back to some more Call of Duty Vanguard tips and tricks stuff here on the channel. I made a video about this topic in the beta, but some things have changed, so I thought I'd make a new video, an updated video, if you will, to talk about some of the things that have came with the actual release of the game. Judging by the title, it's no secret why you're here. You guys are here to learn how to change your colorblind settings, and I'm going to give a little bit of insight as to why I think it's beneficial to change it, and I'm going to show you what it actually does change for you in the game. So, now why do I think you should consider changing your colorblind settings. One, first and foremost, the obvious one. If you actually have a type of colorblindness, this video is right up your alley. This video is for you. This video will help you more than it'll help the other people that just want to change it because they think the colors look cool, which is reason number two. It makes your game look a little unique. It personalizes it from player to player. That's just a cool feature for a lot of people that they like to use. And then three, the reason I do it is because the colors I have it changed to, I'm not colorblind, but my eyes react better to different colors. I respond better to certain colors opposed to other colors. That's how everybody is, whether they know it or not, whether they accept it or not. There are certain colors that your eyes will react to. They'll gravitate towards more naturally than other colors. So for me, whenever I'm playing this game for extended periods of time, the red color that the default enemy color happens to be gets a little bit boring despite my entire room being red, my shirt being red, my chair being red. Color red does get boring for me whenever I'm playing Call of Duty. So what did I do? I made it a really vibrant green color that pops off of everything because it's not a natural color. It's not a natural color that type of green so it just stands out a little bit better and it honestly helps me see enemies that I probably would have missed otherwise but without wasting too much more time in the intro let's hop right into the settings and I'll show you how to change it. All right, and here we are at the main main menu where you can select to play any of these games. I don't know why you'd want to play this one. This game I understand, but it's old Warzone. Blech, yuck. We're gonna go into Vanguard. You can change the setting from the main main menu right down here in settings, but just to make sure you're actually changing the setting for the game that we're talking about, we're gonna go into Vanguard multiplayer. Once you're in the Vanguard settings menu, all you have to do, it's really simple. Just go down to setting, go over to graphics, go down to gameplay, go to color customization. Once you're in this tab, this is where you can go absolutely bananas with whatever colors you want. These are the settings I have. I don't have a color filter on. I don't think this one matters, but I'm not colorblind, so that might matter to somebody. And then Triton Tenopia is the colorblind palette that I'm using. So this is the color scheme I'm working with. My enemies are this bright green color. My party is this off magenta color. My team is purple, and then I am just hot pink because I am hot AF. But you can make these colors whatever you want just to give a little bit of a different look. This is what the different types of colorblind filters look like. This is the default one. But like I said, I am using the Tritonopia color palette option. There are other options you can use. There's Deuteranopia, I think is how you pronounce that. There's Protonopia, and then there's the default one, which is just your basic colors. For me, basically, Tritonopia is the one that works out the best because this color green is just the green that I respond to. It's been my reticle color in every Call of Duty that's given you the option to change your reticle color. It's just the color I respond to the best. It makes my eyes hurt less because I have sensitive baby blue eyes and I cannot go outside without sunglasses. And depending on what color filter you put on, these are kind of what the settings look like. That one is gross, but I'm sure someone needs it. I'm apologizing in advance if you're one of those people that needs it, but I don't play with it. I just have the color filters turned off because these are the colors I like the best. But if you guys have been enjoying the video so far, if you think this is a useful video that's going to help you guys, please hit that subscribe button for me. Help me grow the channel, get more eyes on what we're doing here. Hit that bell notification while you're at it, because I do post to this channel every day. I have daily uploads going on here. A lot of it will be Call of Duty Vanguard now that this game is out. So if you're into that, if you vibe with that idea, by all means, keep coming back. But basically, this is what I'm just showing you. Like, that stands out. That's really nice. If this guy can hit me, it'll show the next part I'm trying to talk about. If any of them can hit me. There we go. That guy over here is the winner. Basically, you see that green bar above my character that indicates what direction I'm getting hit from. That is also the color of whatever you're going to set your enemies to. For me, it's green. Um, it's just nice. It's it's nice to have a different level of customization that might help out a lot of people with a disability if you are colorblind. If not, just it's nice to look at. And then one thing that I doubt I'm going to be able to showcase because I don't think these bots are going to throw grenades at me is if there is a grenade thrown at you and it is an enemy grenade, the outline of the icon for whatever is thrown at you will also be whatever color you happen to have set up. So for me, it would be green. For you, if you have the default setting, it's red. If you have a different type of colorblind filter with whatever color it on, it'll be that color, which is also a nice change in attention to detail that I think should have happened a long time ago for Call of Duty, but... Here we are, and I am absolutely popping off. And then you can see the kill feed down to the bottom left, what it looks like whenever my colors clash in the kill feed and just how it looks. 
But that is basically all I have to show you for the colorblind settings. Like I said, if you enjoyed this video, please leave that like. Help me feed the algorithm those yummy, yummy interactions. Comment down below if you're going to try this. Comment down below if it helped you come back to this video and let me know in the comments. And then one last time, please hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Without wasting any more time, hope you guys have a great day. Stay tuned for some more videos. I will talk to you in the next video. Peace.